are going to go ahead and get started on the fingerless gloves. You're gonna need two sets of everything that the pattern calls for, so you have two gloves. Um, you need two cut on the fold of the glove side. You need two sets of mirror images of the glove top, and you need two sets of mirror images of the glove bottom. The great thing about this pattern is that it really doesn't take very much fabric. You can use scraps and really so many different fabrics work. I just do, do recommend something that has like decent recovery to it because once you slide your hand in there, if it gets stretched out and doesn't sink or cinch back up, you're not gonna love it as much. So let's get moving. We are first going to get going with pressing and hemming the um, glove top and the glove bottom pieces. So you want to flip them with the wrong sides towards you and they have a half inch hem allowance so you're just going to take your iron and at half an inch you're going to press this down and then hem along that line on all of them so i'm going to run to my iron real quick and give everything a press now that we've got everything uh, pressed we are going to run to our, well, I'm going to use my cover stitch. You can use a stretch stitch on your, um, on your regular sewing machine. And we're going to hem all of these just along the edge. Um, make them look nice and pretty. Now that you've got them hemmed, you want to grab your glove top piece. And we are going to be joining along the shorter side. So have them with right sides facing each other, align along the hems, and then we're gonna stitch along the shorter side real quick. And we're all sewn, and we're gonna do the same on the uh, glove bottom piece. So if you wanna lay one right side up and match one right sides down, and we're gonna be sewing along the curved edge right here. And now you've got a bottom and a top piece. And so you're gonna to wanna to grab your glove side piece, lay it down with right sides facing up. And we're going to take our top piece and lay it down first, matching it at this top corner. And then we're gonna take our bottom piece with right sides down and match it at the bottom corner. So you're going to have a pretty big overlap and, and parts you'll have three layers that you need to go through but match that top first at the top corner and the bottom piece second at the bottom corner. And then we stitch along this entire side seam. All right, we're all sewn. You're just gonna open this up and we're gonna do the exact same on the opposite side. So we're going to take our top piece and we're gonna align it on the side piece, uh, matching that top corner. We're gonna lay it down first and then this is again with right sides together. And then we're gonna take our bottom piece, we're gonna line it along the bottom corner all the way up so it overlaps, and then we're gonna stitch this whole line right here. So now we've just got a big old tube, and your last step is just to hem. And there's a half inch uh, hem allowance on both the top and the bottom. Uh, you just flip it with the wrong sides together and then stitch along the top and bottom with whatever method you have for hemming. And you have completed one glove. So just flip it right side out and then move along to your second glove and you will have some adorable fingerless gloves that go up your wrist just enough. They go down your fingers just enough and there's more than enough room for a thumb hole. Once you have two completed, you are ready to rock and roll. You've got a full set and you can make about a thousand more because our testers really loved this pattern and I think it would be such a great little gift for so many different people. Teachers would love this. Great teacher idea. All right, there we go. Can't wait to see what you make.